Hi, everybody. Oh, look, it passed on. Did I ever mention that it's my mom's catchphrase? Um, let's see. Today's video blog. What did I do today? Actually, I slept till noon. I really, 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 really needed it. God, I've been so tired. And, um... Then I went to the doctor because he wasn't going to let me get out of not going. So, you know, we had to touch base on a few things. And being as it's been such a stressful week, <laughs> and with everything going on, and my mom's birthday and everything, and Gaby's birthday, and just so many changes, I thought, mm, couldn't hurt. Unfortunately, whatever medicine he wanted me to get is out of stock or whatever. So, I got my video blogs. I'm okay. Kind of. I, um... Miss my mommy. Trying to plan my date for tomorrow, and I know I want to squeeze in decorating for Gabby's birthday and everything, and I'm trying to think of how I'm going to squeeze in going to the cemetery for my mom's birthday. And homecoming. My baby boy has his first homecoming tomorrow. I'm totally excited for him. I mean, he had his first pep rally today and everything, which is pretty cool. I mean... I said it was kind of lame in high school, but it's a high school thing. And your first everything's kind of pretty cool. At least when, you know, your mom lets you go to it and all. And, you know, I just more and more and more and more and more miss my mommy. I guess maybe it's because as I experience things, I just don't have anybody to call. Can't give her a hug. Can't tell her about things going on in my life. Okay, much in a moment. I can't call my mommy. <sighs> and sometimes I feel kind of corny because the only thing I can do every year is go to the cemetery and sing to her. She loved my singing. I don't know why, but it always meant something to her. Especially when I sang Wind Beneath My Wings, that she loved. And my heart will go on. That was her other favorite. And birthdays without her are hard. We used to always have our tradition. She loved the balloons. Oh, I was like, wow, when I found out that balloons was something so simple. And something she always did for our birthdays, you know, big birthday parties and birthday cake and lots of family. Back then, could totally get our whole family together. Now, like if we can get one or two people around. And, um, you know, then, I mean, it was just amazing. It was just always fun. Always somebody jealous on another person's birthday, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just kidding. I was always jealous of my sister on birthdays. We weren't really jealous of our brother, though, because he was a boy, that lame boy stuff. Um... But yeah, and then the lilies, we always gave her lilies and roses. Lilies was more Linda's thing to give mom, but when Linda passed, I started giving mom lilies, and now they both get roses and lilies for mom's birthday. How oh, it's so <sighs> surreal. It's weird. When you actually really have to say it out loud, it's really, really weird. And I think many people just don't get how blessed they are, how lucky they are that they have their moms to tell them that they love them, to hug and kiss them, and to just say, I'm proud of you, or mad at you, or fight with, or whatever. It's one thing my niece and I have in common is we both don't have our moms. <laughs> and um, so I'm sitting there like, wow, at least, uh, sorry. I cry and my nose starts itching. <laughs> um, my mom and my niece and me, we have a common ground, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things that have really just been on my mind lately. You know, you get your daughter taking you to court. A daughter that you waited for, prayed for, worried for every day for 10 years. And it affects you. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was not the way I planned to ever see my daughter again. Um, but hey, it is what it is. And my mom would say, say la vie, mon ami. 
that used to drive me nuts. But I think of that a lot lately when I have all this stuff going on. And um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Back in her day, it would be, I will survive. You know that? I, I will survive. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh yeah, good songs, great times, and um, so I don't ever forget my mommy. I guess this year my thing for her will be making my video blog and saying how awesome she was and how much I miss her. And I'll never forget all the truly awesome things she did for me. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong, we had our fights, big ones. But I knew that she always had my back and I always had hers. And that it's just a mom and daughter thing, I guess. And she was a good mom. She started young, but she did everything that everybody thought she couldn't do. And I give her so much credit for that great, amazing strength that apparently I've inherited, although it's freaking annoying sometimes. And I wish that, um, <laughs> My faith wasn't tested so much. I mean, you know, I don't know. But at least the week has been kind of okay. Gaby survived the whole five days of school. Yay, Gaby! Um, I made peace with my mother-in-law. So that was a really, really huge deal. It means a little more to me this year for my mom's birthday because... You know, that's a piece that I wish we could have done a long time ago. And, you know, I'm one of those people that I don't like anger and animosity if I don't have to have it. it. takes too much out of you, sucks too much out of your life, it's not worth it. Well, um, I guess that's it. I'm going to go with a little over seven minutes, seven being my lucky number and all, and say, Buenos noches. Adios, cogelo suave, y hasta mañana.